Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton and from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to explore range masking inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you join us in our free private Facebook community so that you don't miss another live video. In a recent video, we explored the adjustment brush in relation to the new range masking luminance feature inside of Lightroom. And in this video, we are going to look at the color option, but we're going to do so using the graduated filter. In order to access that tool, press M on your keyboard. We're going to click and drag down from the sky in order to improve it. Now I have O selected on my keyboard in order to show this mask overlay. And the first thing you'll notice is that it also overlays on the dog, which we don't want. So let's go ahead and select color range mask Grab the eyedropper tool and click in the sky in order to tell Lightroom this is the area we wish to apply this adjustment to. Now what you'll notice is that Lightroom did not select all of the sky because there's a variety of range in both color and tonality with sky. So you can hold down shift on your keyboard and then click in different areas of the sky in order to add to this selection. You can also, with shift being held, click and drag in order to select a wider range. So now that we have this sky all covered in the ruby light overlay, and more importantly, it's not on the dog, we can press O on our keyboard in order to remove the overlay and adjust these sliders as necessary in order to improve the sky. Now this sky was already pretty blue to begin with, so I don't think I would want to increase the saturation, but the point is we can use the color range mask inside of Lightroom in order to select specific areas very quickly. If you do not see range mask in your Lightroom, you just might need to update your version. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.